Okay, a bunch of years ago, I was living in Boston. Uh, went out with my friend Ross to a to a local club, and uh, we met a couple girls there. And uh, it turns out the one that I met um, was real nice, and we got along very well, and and we started dating. And it was a great relationship in in really every way, except there was one kind of complicating factor that I didn't really appreciate at the time, and that was that uh, uh, we were of significantly different religions. Um, I was Catholic and she was Jewish and you know, I was not a churchgoer and so and also looked at myself as being kind of above kind of the you know religion as, as something that you know I, I was more felt like I cared about every religion and every religion was good and, and there was nothing special or unusual about you know one person from one faith dating someone from another faith and uh, and she I think felt the same way. Um, so, uh, you know, we went and, and dated and, and, you know, it got pretty serious. And, you know, a couple of times we got you know, fairly close to kind of the engagement thing. We even looked for a condo together once. Um, but we never, we, we never did. After you know, several years of dating, we were still sort of in the same place. And uh, I think I'd never really realized how much the religious difference um, meant in the whole scheme of things. I mean, when her family had... Uh, uh, you know, Passover Seder or whatever I, I attended. Um, and she came to some of our events and uh, it really seemed fine. Um, and uh, so there we were, you know, several years into our relationship. And then it sort of came to a head and it sort of, it, it sort of became clear why religion was end up being kind of significant and important. Um, and this particular year, uh, it turned out that Passover happened on Good Friday. So that not um it's not impossible to happen but it's quite an unusual circumstance and um i was invited to the uh, passover seder and i uh, thought about it real hard and ended up declining and it was really because you know even though i wasn't you know at the time spending much time in church you know good friday is kind of an important day um you know equivalent to Yom Kippur in the in, in Jewish faith, and and it's a day of atonement, and it's not a day of celebration. And by contrast, the Passover Seder is a pretty significant event, a lot of partying. It's fun, you know. It's a celebration, and so I felt really conflicted about that, and that was why I said no. And uh, I, you know, I talked to um, my girlfriend later, and she mentioned she pointed out that her dad was really disappointed that I wasn't there, and I felt bad about that because her dad and I had always gotten along really well and I really liked him and I was I was actually a little hurt that he didn't see things from my point of view so uh, anyway as we sort of as I sort of thought about that and, and weighed that and, and so forth it became clear that that even though neither of us were significant sort of attend attendees at service yet the uh, religious um, upbringing that we had in our kind of our culture was deeply embedded in us, much more deeply embedded than we realized. And despite all of our sort of intellectual rationalization and, and uh, you know, belief that it wouldn't make a difference, uh, that we could make a go of it, um, it, deep in our hearts, I think we knew that um, that was a barrier. And that was why we hadn't gotten engaged to that point. So really, it wasn't much longer after that, maybe a few weeks, that we actually broke up for good. And, uh, you know, the relationship itself was great. It wasn't a mistake, but, you know, the mistake that I made was sort of under appreciating the significance of a, a religious difference and to kind of be able to work through that is a significant activity and um, not something that's easily done.